What's going on guys? Today we're breaking in the mud motor. We actually, it's been super nice out. Pretty much all the snow's gone. So we've got the duck boat pulled out front. We gotta pull the tarps off. We're gonna mount the duck motor. We're put oil in it, put some nice new fuel in it and uh, get it fired up for the first time. Get the motor broken, get it ready to go. In the last video, we built the motor. So if you haven't seen that, uh, I'll put that video, <clears throat> I don't know. Click on it, I'll put it somewhere here and uh, and go check it out. So anyways, we, like I said, we gotta get out, uncover the boat, get the thing mounted, get it broken in. We'll see you out there. All right, we got the duck boat. We gotta unpack it. Got the mud motor ready to go on. We just gotta get it done. Just gotta do it. Right, baby girl? All right. Get everything out of it. It's been packed away all winter long. What do you think? We're just gonna get it untarped. <clears throat> yeah? You're silly. This goes with the boat. There's gonna be a lot of water in this one. Whoa! Can you say that's crazy? Looks just as good as the way we left her right before winter, huh? Awesome. All right, before we get this duck boat on here, we gotta we're gonna make some adjustments to our blind. Uh, last year you couldn't, you had to open the top to ride in the boat. So this year. I've cut all these straps off and I've flipped the top back. I'm adding a tarp to the back side. And then when we roll it up, we'll be able to, when we lift it up, we'll be able to have this tarp come. It'll cover the top and the back. So we'll keep water out. And then all this will roll up into one. So that's the plan. We'll see. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Come on. There she goes. So now, we're gonna take this bar, we're gonna roll this up around it. So, I think we want it like right, right about here. I added this bar here. This is attached, basically weighing it down. I'm gonna add another bar over there. And then we're gonna add another, our other layer of camel. Cut the bottom of this tarp off. And then we'll be able to roll it up, bungee cord it, and drop everything down, and it should should be good to go. All right, we are mounting this to the duck boat here. Hmm. We might have a problem if this won't go in. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Shoot. Well, what do you do there? So I had to take two bolts out of here because this is not wide enough with them on there. Now with them off of there, I can get it on. Barely. There she goes. All right. So then we can tighten these up. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. All right. Now, 
take our mud motor here. Okay, now that we got those off, got the washer nut and the cotter key, set those aside. We can set the motor on the boat. Drop it down. There she goes. She's on. So the next thing we gotta do, we'll put the washer and the cotter key in. Also, don't forget to grease this um, before you use it. Cotter key goes in, just like that. Down, like that. This will be with. Perfect. We gotta add oil to this bad boy, so. <sighs> Take our funnel. 10 W30. Okay, we're gonna fire this baby up for the first time. So we're gonna put it to start, turn the fuel on, turn this on. run for like 30 minutes at idle that's it and just let it just let it idle that's all we're doing okay so kind of talking through the braking process you don't have to watch it um ran the engine for a, a half hour at idle and then changed the oil then ran it for another half hour at idle changed the oil again then i ran it for two hours changed the oil after that, and then I ran it, um, and that's all at idle. And then the last run I did, I ran it for a half hour um, at half throttle, and then I changed the oil again. And the reason you're changing the oil so much is you're just getting those the metal shavings from the casting out of the, out of the engine. You don't want that stuff in your oil. Um, a lot of guys, if they start an engine up for the first time, um, don't change the oil. And so all, that, all those metal shavings from the break-in process are still in the oil. Get, get you want to get it out of there it's a lot of oil changes at first but then after that you can go into you know you can go into normal oil changing but it's not that much oil anyways it's uh it's pretty minimal so um but anyways yeah so it's all broken in we just got to get the ice uh get ready get rid of the ice get it get a little warmer um, then we'll be able to do like a speed test i'm gonna load it up with all the duck gear and just see how fast we can go not that we're in a hurry but it's nice to go a little faster than two miles an hour like we did last year so anyways guys if you liked the video please like and subscribe i really appreciate your support we'll see you on the next one